on the last episode of Our Life on the Homestead. You witnessed the magic of morning chores. Join us today as we look at the magnificent glory of planting a windbreak and the white spruce. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Um, take that for what it was. Um, but today, if you watched the last episode, it's the same day for me, new day for you. But um, we're gonna take a look at our order we got from our Soil and Water Conservation District here um, and uh, get those planted for our new windbreak. So that's what we're gonna be bringing you along for today. I've got a few tools for the job over here. Should be pretty straightforward and simple. We got some string there for drawing out straight lines to plant our trees. I got a tape there for spacing out our trees. And I've got a shovel there for digging our trees in. And the two stakes for, um, uh, you know, attaching the string too, of course, to draw straight lines. And the other thing I got is some dirt. Never mind you that. We're not using that today for these trees. But we'll be using that a little bit later for our fruit trees. And over here, we've got a nice black bag of trash, which inside has some glorious trees. Let's take a look at those. All right, so here's our baggie with our flaggy. That says, uh, hey, Dries, white spruce. Check that out. Plant that flag right here. Yeah, okay, anyway. So here's our bag. You know, nothing fancy. But it does the job, because here's what's inside. As you can see, nice and moist yet. So this is great. These are gonna get a really good start. You can see here they're bundled together. This is bundles of uh, 25, I believe. So there should be 25 trees in here. And uh, yeah, so they look really good. Let's get these in our cart and go out and get them planted. Ooh, nice garden. You're next, by the way, Mr. Garden. I got some stuff to plant in you. All right, so there's a couple ways I could do this. Ready to get these start, uh, start staking out. So this here is the corner post for our property. There's the road. There's the fence line that divides us from our neighbor. I'm gonna go 15 foot this way, and then 15 foot this way to start my first tree. That's gonna give me a barrier for the tree to grow to the edge of our property line, and stay out of the way of those particular lines there so that we don't have problems with the local authorities. <clears throat> so, let's take our stakes and uh, put those in. Okay, so here we are. You might not be able to see it well, but our, our corner post is there. Ended up going about 19 to 20 feet, about 20 feet from this pole here. I'm just giving myself a little more distance and based upon some other trees I have down this way. And so you can see the line there going all the way down. You might not be able to see it, but the post there, 20 feet away from that stake down on the other side of our property. It's a little close right here between these two pine trees, but as you go down that way, they move out a little ways. So I'm gonna establish this new line and uh, this should be a good start. So as you can see, we got it all straight. Now this will be our guide for planting our trees. So this first one, I'm gonna go about 15 feet from the fence there, just cause as these grow out, they're going to get bigger and there will be a lot of room to expand with their branch. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, you know, there, there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can space them out as they're supposed to be spaced, which is about 15 feet between each tree, or you can plant them closer together, um, say five, 10 feet or something like that. Um, probably something more like seven feet to split the difference between 15. And then if you lose some trees, you still have 
most likely some of the spacing that you'll need. Another thing you could do is once they, once they get big and they start to get close to touching each other, um, you can then harvest the middle trees out, especially if it's a variety like this, white spruce, where it's a sought after tree for Christmas trees. So it gives you the opportunity to, to get a, a windbreak sooner with the trees closer together and then harvest the ones out and maybe make a little money back on them. So we're gonna start with this first one at five feet maybe about six feet away from the edge of our property here. So just to close this gap between um, our neighbor's pine trees here a little bit better. And then we'll go from there. There it is, first one planted. Looking pretty good. I've got a lot of this uh, clover in here, uh, um, which is good. It's a nitrogen fixer, so um, that should be good for these trees. So there it is, first one done. Now a whole bunch to go. It is a few hours later, um, probably three hours, and I got the first row done. So I'll give you a look at that. Um, this isn't all of it because you can't see on the other side of the driveway, but here we go. Okay, there it is. And all the way there. And then I even got it going down the hill a little ways here into this valley. I put some of the scrawnier uh, trees down there where they'll get a little bit more, more a little more moisture. I'll have to come in here with the push mower and keep them mowed around so they're not competing too much for nutrients, but you can see them there, 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 there. So, got our stake set down there, 15 feet apart again. So we're gonna have 15 feet between rows and then we got our line set here going all the way back down to the other side 15 feet apart again so there it is now we're going to take two start going down the second row on we go ha <sighs> Ooh. all done with the pine trees i should say spruce so we got our two rows done across the whole front of the property. I'm feeling accomplished. But next up is our fruit trees. So we're gonna get on that next, but I'll kind of give you a little shot here. I gotta get our string. So that's what I'll be doing next. And then I'll be setting up our fruit tree section. So here's a row of trees, as you can see down to there. And here's that second row there, down there. And then, there it is, all the way around. So, you know, I staggered them. So if you look at it, here's one here, then sort of a triangle there, down to a triangle there, you know? So they're, they're staggered. So as they grow in, they'll fill in the gaps. And this gives them enough room to grow amongst each other and mature while still providing a good windbreak um, before they start touching each other. And this way they shouldn't touch each other really at all. Even when they get to be, you know, the size of these here. They really shouldn't be touching each other. So, this will work out good. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this should be a really good wind break. We've had some pretty nasty winds here. So, I'm looking forward to this growing in. It'll take probably a good five years for these to get about this size here. Should take about five years to get about that size. Um, and by then, that'll be a decent windbreak. Um, so a good five years for an investment on these trees 
in order to get to a decent windbreak. <laughs> and there's this end, as you can see here. Some of you might be like, well, you didn't water them yet. No, I haven't. And once I'm done planting trees today, I've got a good idea as to how I can do that all in one shot. So that's why I'm holding off on that. I'll start watering them at the very end. Well, that's going to do it all for this video, folks. Um, make sure you stick around. We're also going to be planting some fruit trees, so we'll do a video on that. And we're also going to be planting some peas and some radishes. And we'll probably do a video on that as well. Um, you can see here, got all our string wound up and our posts out. I'm good to go. That was a good chore, but I'm glad to be done with it. It should turn out to be a nice windbreak. So catch you all in the next video.